Rockford's mayor offers an update on where the city stands on certain issues. It's part of Mayor Tom McNamara's annual State of the City Address. Amory Wilder was there. Amory, what can you tell us? Eric, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Mayor McNamara addressed the city in different ways, including virtual. But this year, he says it was crucial to stand before a city council just to show how much they've accomplished together. We're all here for the same reason. We all love Rockford, and we're all trying to make Rockford a better place for everyone. Kevin Frost, along with other aldermen, sat in while Mayor Tom McNamara delivered his annual State of the City address, during which the mayor made it clear the city's top priority is public safety, with an emphasis on youth violence. Our officers are arresting 13, 14, and 15-year-olds who are carrying guns, stealing cars, committing armed robberies. Even children as young as 8 years old are causing major property damage. McNamara says part of the blame can be linked to young people lacking a sense of belonging or being exposed to some form of trauma at home. To help, the city has allocated an additional $1.75 million to intervention programs for young adults. Alderman Frost says while progress is being made, more can be done. I think it's a step in the right direction. Frankly, I'd like to see us carve out more money that we can to help all those programs. Meanwhile, the city is also working to reduce blight, something the mayor says has been dragging the community down. He believes getting rid of eyesores can make an economic difference. We recently just demolished 1800 Broadway. Doesn't sound like a big deal until you hear it's a 140,000 square foot building that has been sitting there for more than a decade, decaying and being vacant. While crime committed by young people is top of mind, the mayor reminds us that domestic violence continues to have a steady rate of 40% of the city's violent crime. Eric?